Hey guys, obviously not in studio this week, instead at the Remax convention. So we're gonna keep the very front of this week's show pretty light. Let's just get to the two counties. Let's go. Right, so as you can tell from that opener, I am not in studio. Uh, I'm actually at the Remax convention this week. Uh, got a bunch of stuff playing. We got a bunch of good things coming down the pipe. Um, there's a lot of talk about different agencies, but let me tell you what, Remax still outsells pretty much everybody out there. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I will let you know how that conference goes next week when we have next week's show. Let's talk about this particular, uh, these two counties. If you've never watched the show before, you don't know that I always start off with this slide right here. It says if you have between six and seven months worth of inventory, we've got a neutral market. Anything greater than seven months, we got a buyer's market. Anything less than six months, we got a seller's market. What the slide does not say, anything greater than nine months is a hyper buyer's market. Anything less than three months is a hyper seller's market. Let's take a look at our two counties. We're going to start off in Escambia County, and it looks like we've got two markets now that are in the buyer category, not the hyper, excuse me, let me rephrase that, in the seller category, not the hyper seller category. Now that's the 550 to 600,000. That looks like it's slightly over three months and your luxury is 4.8 months. This is the first time watching the show. Over here is your list price. Over on the right hand side, color coded, is your month's inventory. That's why I always start off with that right there. So we got a good baseline, we understand what's going on. Um, 100 to 150,000, there's only 32 properties. 150 to 200,000, there's only 37. 200,000 to 250,000, there's only 20. And in Escambia County, all together, looks like there's only 326 active properties. Properties are coming on the market uh, and going off almost as fast as they come on. This is still very much a seller's market and a hyper seller's market. We jump over to Santa Rosa County. Uh, it's just ridiculously low like it's been. Um, the 200 to 250 really makes me nervous because there's a huge appetite for that price point. It's 0.1 months. We got 11 properties active and I've seen the properties and some of them need work. Um, so we've got 11 properties active. 150 to 200, there's only seven, which is up from the five we had a couple weeks ago, but still that's 0.2 months. I don't get new inventory in these price points. First time home buyers are just gonna have a fit trying to find a place. The 50 to 100,000, there is one property. It is a mobile home. Um, that is the only one active as of now. Under 50,000 in Santa Rosa County, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing there whatsoever. So that's our two, that's our two counties right now. It is ridiculously low. Uh, and I know that it, it right now, until we start to get some new inventory, then it's going to stay that low. But I want to kind of finish up this week's episode by speaking to folks that are selling stuff off market. Uh, I wanted to talk real quick because I'm starting to see some pickup of what they call wholesaling. And what a wholesaler does is they go out and they put a property under contract for an extended period of time. Hey, I guarantee you to buy this or that. But they normally have language where they can back out of it. So I really want you to pay attention to that. But then they also turn around and go out into the marketplace and try and sell the contract for five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 more than what they got it under contract for. I understand the business model. I'm not picking on any particular person as far as their business model. I hope all business models work out for people. But I think as a seller, you really got to pay attention to that because we've got the as is contracts coming in left and right. And if they hit the MLS, Right now, especially, you're just getting more for it because you're getting more eyeballs on it. So I had someone call me two weeks ago and they said, listen, I've got this investor offering me this. Do you think you can do better? I went out there, took a look at the property and said, listen, um, I know I can do better and I will put my money where my mouth is. If I can't, I'll pay you $2,000 more than what that investor is offering you. And they said, OK, OK, because I, what he was offering was really below value. 
And we put it on the market and it was under contract within hours uh, with a cash buyer on as is contract. So all the stuff that aren't going to have to fix anything, all the stuff they were afraid of doing, if you put it on the market, they didn't have to do. We put it under contract. Um, the commission that they paid me to do that, he made much, much more than the commission he paid me. So he, he, the extra money that I got him from the investor's offer by putting it on the MLS and actually doing the marketing that I know of far superseded that extra money far superseded the commission he paid me for the entire project. So if you're considering that and someone's saying, Hey, you know, I'll make you this cash offer right now. Let's chat. Let's chat. Because if they are, I, I have no problems making people a cash offer. I've got investors that I work with all the time. They'll be like, Hey, if you find something that's there, you've got, I could probably put my fingers on seven figures if I had to just from the people that I know that will say, Hey, you come across something, give me a shout. I got some cash. Okay, good. So I know I can get cash offers out there. If that's what you're looking for, you're not looking for a headache or anything of that nature, but I know putting it on the MLS is going to get you more money. So if you're considering that talking with someone, let's chat. Let's just chat before you do anything. Let's chat. If I can't do it, if I don't think, if I think that the investor is giving you a better offer, I will be the first one to tell you, go with it. If you can get that and not have to do any of this, go with it. And I've told people that there was a property that I saw the west side of town eat up with termites. Like the subfloor was, I'm not a light guy. I'm kind of a heavy, heavy built guy, heavy set. And I was afraid to walk on it because the termites had just eaten through it. The beams and everything else. I just thought, I just knew I was going to fall through that thing. And he said he got an offer from an investor, a cash offer from an investor. The investor happened to be a general contractor. So they knew how to fix this stuff and they had the crews to do it and they could do it at wholesale cost. So I said, you should take that offer. You absolutely should take that offer. And he did. And he was very happy with it and things worked out. And he actually refers me other people, although he's never officially been a client of mine, uh, he still refers other people. So I just wanted to bring that up this week because I'm seeing more and more and more of it to where I can, I know for a fact I could have got that person more, but I'm seeing it in the off market uh, marketplace. But if you're looking at this video and you're seeing from right here, if you're looking at this inventory, uh, you need to bring it to the MLS. And that's going to give you the maximum amount of potential. So there's this week's video. Like I said, I'm on the conference. So I'm going to keep it short, but uh, we will chat about what I learned down here in the conference and some of the, uh, some of the points. I'm looking forward to some of the speakers. I think one of our main speakers is uh, Dave Ramsey. So I've always kind of respected him. I'm going to be paying attention to what he has to say. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth? <laughs>